how do you downgrade from iOS 18.1 down to iOS 18.0? So this should be a very easy process. And before we start the video, one thing to note is that this tutorial stops working a little over a week after the update fully releases to everyone. So just be aware of that. Now, in order to check if this video works for you, just go onto your web browser and search up ipsw.me and then select iPhone and select any one of the iPhone models. And then it'll tell you which iOS versions you could actually downgrade to. And here they are. So the iOS versions that are assigned are the ones that you could actually downgrade to. And if iOS 18.0 appears in the unsigned section, then that means you can't downgrade to it. Now, before we go over how you can actually downgrade your iOS version, we need, to, we need to talk about how you can actually save your iPhone's information. So Apple doesn't allow you to load iPhone backups from newer iOS versions. So if you have an iOS 18.0 backup from when you were on that earlier update, then you will be able to load that once you downgrade your iOS version. But otherwise, almost all of your iPhone information will be removed. Now, you can actually save your photos by going down into the photo section here in settings. So we can find that in the app section, then just scroll down to photos. And when you press on that, you'll have the option to save it to iCloud. So just go ahead and enable that. Now moving on to the next step, which is downgrading your iOS version. Just go ahead and connect your iPhone to your computer using a charging cable. And once you've connected it, just go ahead and log on to your computer. Now, once you've logged on to your computer, you might get a trust notification on your phone asking if you want to trust the computer. So go ahead and just press on trust. Then go ahead and log on to your web browser. And just type in on your search bar, ipsw.me. And this is the same website that we went on earlier. And just select between iPhone or iPad. So whichever one that you're using, just select that. And select your iPhone model. So I'm using the iPhone 12 mini, so I'll be selecting that. Then select any one of the iOS versions that you want to downgrade to. And like I said earlier, the iOS version has to be signed if you want to downgrade to it. So if you're watching this video way later on, maybe in October or November, then iOS 18 is likely to be unsigned, so you won't be able to downgrade to it. And as of the time that I'm uploading this, iOS 18 isn't fully out to everyone. So I'll just be downgrading to iOS 17.6. So I just go ahead and press on download and press on save. And while we're waiting for that to download, we're going to go onto our phone. So on your phone, just go into settings, then on your profile at the top and press on find my, and just go ahead and disable find my iPhone. And you have to type in your iCloud passcode in order to do this. So just go ahead and type that in. And now we're basically finished with the iPhone. So this next step is going to be different depending on whether you're on a Mac or Windows computer. So if you're on a Mac, just open Finder and select your device on the side of the window. Then just press on the option key and press on restore. And now your iPhone is going to be downgrading. So just wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading and then I'll go over the final steps. But like I said earlier, the steps on Windows will be a bit different. So first off, just download iTunes off the Microsoft Store. And once you've done that, just open iTunes and go through the setup screen and press on the button on the top left corner. And the next thing that you need to do is just press on the restore iPhone while holding down on the shift key. And then just select whichever file that you just downloaded. So all you need to do now is just wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now that your iPhone has been downgraded, you can unplug your iPhone from your computer and these next steps should be simple. So just go ahead and set up your iPhone and I'll go through the setup screen. Now during some point in the process, you will get the option to load, your, to load an earlier backup on your iPhone. So if you've got an iPhone backup from iOS 18.0 or earlier, then you could load that on your iPhone but otherwise you will lose all your iPhone information except for your photos and contacts. And that's basically all there is for the tutorial. And if you want to check if your iPhone has been downgraded, just go into settings, then into general and press on about. 
and then it'll tell you your iOS version. So that's all there is for this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my channel to see more videos like this in the future. And if you have any video suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments below.